ಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಕೇಶಂಭಾದರಾಯಣಂಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತೌಂದೇ ಶಾಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮೋಕ್ತ ಸಂಭೌಮಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತೀಪಾಚಿಮೇಧಾತು ಜೀವಾಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಷಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ಸೊ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಡಟ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೀತಾ the third chapter there's an introduction it has a bhashya by bhagavad pada acharya he says shastrasya pravrutti nivrutti vishaya bhute dve buddhi bhagavata nirdishte shastrasya pravrutti nivrutti vishaya bhute dve buddhi there are two commitments there are two uh, lines of thought which we have seen earlier one is karma yoga the path is karma yoga and the other is jnana yoga and which is called as sankhya buddhi and yoga buddhi karma yoga is yoga buddhi and sankhya buddhi is jnana yoga and these are taught by bhagwan bhagwata nirdishte they are taught which are these two buddhis dve buddhi in dual <coughs> which are one pravrutti nivrutti vishaye bhute which are in the form of commitment to what engagement one is engaging in in actions and one is withdrawal from actions so pravrutti vishaya bhuta is what that is yoga buddhi and nivrutti vishaya bhuta buddhi is sankhya buddhi so sankhya buddhi hi and yoga buddhi commitment towards so buddhi you can say the thinking thinking as in what is the ultimate uh, pursuit of a person thereby it becomes a commitment that thinking changes into his commitment his or her commitment to what this what should i be doing should i be engaging in actions prescribed by the shastra or should i be withdrawing from all actions and take to sanyasa thereby commitment and puja swami used to call it as lifestyle this yoga buddhi and sankhya buddhi as lifestyles we'll see it as commitments and if you prefer the word lifestyle uh, then that is how you understand that what are these two paths they are paths to the same goal one is a direct path to jnana jnana marga is to moksha direct path jnane na moksha and yoga buddhi that yoga buddhi or karma yoga commitment to karma yoga and pravrutti pravrutti vishay bhuta that is for chitta shuddhi and it was said in the second chapter to arjuna that you are not ready for jnana yoga you are ready for karma yoga you should be doing karma yoga and you have no adhikara in so karmani eva adhikara aste you have adhikara only in karma means karma yoga so shastrasya pravrutti nivrutti vishe bhute dve buddhi bhagavata nirdishte sankhe buddhi yoge buddhi iti cha this is the division in shastra not only in gita everywhere in upanishad also karma kanda and jnana kanda is a division made although they are focused towards the same goal one is kramena the other is directly tatra prajahati yada kaman iti arabhya in the second chapter prajahati yada kaman iti arabhya a adhyaya parisamapte so starting from the 58 55th shloka till the 72nd shloka the last shloka end of the chapter up to the end of the chapter sankhya buddhi ashritana what was this prajahati yada kaman when one gives up all desires all desires adhyaya parisamapte sankhya buddhi ashritanam sanyasam kartavyam uktva and here kamyati iti kama if you say all the objects and kama is desires also finally one does not have desires therefore one is not engaged in duty and thereby by giving up all the eshanatraya one withdraws from action and takes to sanyasa thereby sankhya buddhi this was shown in the uh, ending part 55th to 72nd shloka commitment was towards uh, initially he said that i will teach you both and then he 
described both in mixed shlokas and then finally went to jnana yoga in the end although he has talked about karma yoga but this chapter is called as karma yoga the third chapter here he will describe a little more so tatra prajahati yada kama nityarabhya asa adhyaya parisamapte he sankhya buddhya shritanam sanyasam kartavyam uktva having stated that sanyasam kartavyam means what for whom for sankhya buddhya ashritanam for those who are sankhya buddhi ashrita those who have taken to sankhya buddhi they have committed themselves to sankhya and they have taken refusion to that they are saying that jnana yoga is my path now they have they have chitta shuddhi and thereby what is prescribed for them sanyasam kartavyam so kartavyam is kartavyata the duty what what they should be doing because they have adhikara only in that is where uh, all the vyakhyana karas and bhashya karas says sanyasa eva adhikara one who has jnana has adhikara only in sanyasa not in karma because karma will not bear fruit it was said earlier that for karma there is a karaka bheda all karaka bhedas karta is different from the phala I, the karta is different from the yajna devata karta is different from the from ishwara basically karta is different from all the karakas all the ingredients that are going to be used adhikarana which uh, homakunda he is completely different from this prapancha and he sees prapancha bheda and he is different from his uh, his wife who is another karaka in the yajna so all these differences are to be entertained and then the sankalpa is done that i want some phala which is different from me whether it is swarga ityadi and then thereby one has to do the karma therefore karma the adhikari is different but in jnana where once is abheda how can there be karaka bheda so there are two opposite paths so to say therefore there are two divisions arjuna is therefore what sankhya buddhi ashritanam those who have have taken refuge to sankhya sanyasam kartavyam uktva having stated that sanyasa should be taken by them tesham tannishtata meaning what they should withdraw from action and tesham tannishtataya cha tannishtaya eva cha and only through nishtha krutarthata ukta how is the krutarthata is moksha finally moksha how is that moksha tannishtataya keeping nishtha only in this sanyasa meaning withdrawing from everything and remaining in sankhya sankhya nishtha sankhya is what aham brahmasmi iti buddhi finally it is i am brahma with that nishtha tannishtataya is brahma nishtataya or brahmatma nishtataya eva cha krutartha krutartata ukta one will become a krutartha krutartha by this and what is that stated as one's natural state esha brahmi sthiti this is the the state of brahma meaning what it is the natural state of brahma brahma does not have any other state a uh, brahmatma does not have any other state but that is the natural state which is the real uh, sadvastu state that is the real state that is the reality vastuta and anything other than that is superimposed therefore esha brahmi sthiti this is the brahmi sthiti this is the sthita prajna lakshana who remains in that iti in the 72nd shloka this is how it was closed the second chapter was closed now in between what was said before he started describing this first he said arjuna in 2.47 47 shloka just before he started describing this uh, sthita prajna lakshana having given him a prashna bija uh, he mentioned sthita prajna who is this uh, prajna so he became inquisitive and then bhagwan said that uh, one who has this jnana who has given up all this karma and before that what was told to arjuna arjuna yach karmanye va adhikaraste mate sangostu karmani iti karma eva kartavya muktavan for these uh, sankhya buddhi ashritas sanyasa was prescribed but for arjuna no no you don't take to sanyasa you r- remain with karma you continue with karma and offer that to the lord and thereby follow karma yoga this was mate sangastu akarmani sangana mastu let there not be uh, attachment to not doing karma meaning don't focus on giving up karma but continue with karma because you have adhikara only in karma this was stated now arjuna is confused that brahmi sthiti is what i want and 
he has described in detail from 55th to 72nd shloka is described what is this brahmi sthiti how to get it and uh, giving up karma is talked about for these for these who want moksha i also want moksha but for me he is telling me you engage in karma why this treatment iti karma eva kartavya muktavan to me he is saying you do karma yoga buddhi maashritya how karma eva kartavya kartavya muktavan krishna has stated that for you karma alone is to be done it is your duty and how yoga buddhi maashritya karma yoga buddhi maashritya means samatva maashritya samatva buddhi maashritya having taken to samatva samatva bhava in result whether the result is winning the battle or losing the battle you continue and fight the battle that's all you do nimitta matra na tata eva shreya prapti uktavan but by that process having engaged in karma through karma yoga buddhi you will get moksha that was not stated na tata eva shreya prapti uktavan bhagwan has not stated that you will get moksha through that he has said moksha is is attained by these sankhya buddhi maashritya who who take sanyasa and then they remain in that uh, tannishtataya eva krutarthata moksha and here krutarthata is not mentioned shreya prapti is not mentioned for arjuna that means what arjuna thinks now that i have been asked to fight the battle or engage in karma fight the battle or any 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 karma thereby i'll not get moksha whereas i want moksha and he is saying how will moksha be attained by sanyasa by giving up this karma so i have not been shown the path to moksha whereas the path to moksha is definitely not this tadhe tad alakshya considering this paryayi paryakuli kruta buddhi arjuna uvacha arjuna who is now paryakuli kruta buddhi this is paryakuli kruta is chuyanta this paryakulam krutam so that which was not paryakulam that buddhi which was not parya uh, kuli is now made paryakuli so tad etad alaksha thinking this in this manner now he is confused why is bhagwan telling me something that i do not want which is not the path to moksha therefore this paryakuli is this buddhi is confused now paryakuli kruta buddhi means that buddhi which was not that confused it was very clear he said that i want i want to take sanyasa in his mind he was not confused now he says things that i am confused because bhagwan is giving me uh, i have asked him how to i want moksha that is his uh, that is his sharana sharanagati is for moksha and now bhagwan is saying that you do something which will not lead you to moksha this is his thinking and thereby he is confused why is bhagwan telling me this way this arjuna who his whose mind is confused paryakli krita buddhi is the is bahuri for it is another word for arjuna arjuna uvacha arjuna as so this is the arjuna uvacha in the shloka here arjuna uvacha there is a long sangati here but the ideas most of the ideas are discussed in the uh, second chapter 10 shloka and in introduction also uh, bhagwan bhashyakar had mentioned this and he said that revisit it to show the errors in the interpretation of the puro pakshi who is bodhayana or vrittikara whom even ramanujacharya follows they they have uh, jnana karma samuchchaya samuchchayavadi so this is that arjuna uvacha arjuna asked asked bhagwan through the first shloka in the third chapter because he is confused otherwise bhagwan has finished the teaching and what is the confusion here कथम भक्ताय श्रेयोर्थिने यत् साक्षात् श्रेय प्राप्ति साधनम् सांख्य बुद्धि निष्ठाम् श्रावयित्वा माम् कर्मणि दृष्टाने कानर्थ युक्ते पारंपरियेण अपि अनेकांतिक श्रेय प्राप्ति फले नियुञ्जात् इति सो हिज कन्फ्यूजन इज व्हाट कथम भक्ताय श्रेयोर्थिने आई एम अ श्रेयार्थी मोक्षार्थी एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ अ भक्ता and for a bhakta and a shreyorthi one who is wants wants moksha for him what is the sakshat sadhana yat sakshat shreya prapti sadhana what is the direct sadhana to moksha sankhya buddhi nishta 
सांख्य बुद्धि निष्ठाम श्रावयत्व हैविंग टॉट हैविंग मेड मी लिसन टू दिस टीचिंग व्हाट इज दैट सांख्य बुद्धि फ्रॉम 55 टू 70 सेकंड श्लोक ही इज सेड दैट श्रेय प्राप्ति साधना इज दिस बिकॉज़ दिस इज हाउ द दिस चित्त प्रज्ञा इज एंड आई वांट टू बिकम श्रेय स्थित प्रज्ञा to that kind of bhakta direct sadhana to moksha has been taught as sankhya buddhi nishtha and maam kar but but what is he doing maam karmani in karma by saying karmanyeva adhikaraste maam karmani drishta aneka anartha yukte that karma which is yukta yukta means that karma which is endowed with what is it endowed with aneka artha many types of results it is seen and he has said that earlier there are vyavsayatmika uh, buddhi and then avyavsayi nam he said that so many uh, results have been talked about and people get mohita by that they get uh, they have raga for all these results and thereby remain karmis here drishta anek drishta drishtai anekarthai yukta yukta that karma in that karma कर्मणी दृष्टानेकानर्थ युक्ते कर्मणी माम नियुंज्यात सो इट इज इट विल गो विद दिस वर्ब नियुंज्यात भगवान नियुंज्यात व्हाई इज ही एंगेजिंग मी और डायरेक्टिंग मी टू एंगेज इन कर्म व्हिच हैज मेनी फोल्ड रिजल्ट्स एंड पारंपरियण अपि इफ यू से दैट इन सीक्वेंस आल्सो फाइनली यू विल गेट देयर बट इट इज नॉट अ डायरेक्ट पाथ सो पारंपरियण अपि व्हाट अनेकांतिक श्रेय प्राप्ति फल इज इट इज डिफिकल्ट वर्ड बट आई सी दिस एज दिस फला व्हिच इज व्हाट अनेकांतिक मींस इनडेफिनिट मेनी फोल्ड मींस इनडेफिनिट दिस श्रेय श्रेय प्राप्ति इज इनडेफिनिट द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस पारंपरिक ने भी फाइनली व्हाट इज दैट कर्म दैट कर्म पारंपरिक ने इट विल टेक मी टू ज्ञान एंड मोक्ष इफ यू से दैट स्टिल व्हाट इट इज अनेकांतिक इट इज नॉट डेफिनिट is it definite if that if it is definite you tell me so you have not told me therefore anekantika shreya prapti phale karmani paramparyana api that kind of karma in that kind of karmani neyunjyat why would he engage me in that kind of karma iti yukta therefore in this with this kind of a analysis this kind of an analysis parya paryakuli bhavah yukta eva अर्जुन से पर्याकुली भाव सो इति युक्त पर्याकुली भाव अर्जुन से दिस कैंड ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन ऑफ अर्जुन इज वैलिड इट इज बट प्रॉपर यू हैव सबमिटेड युअर सेल्फ टू अ गुरु एंड दैट गुरु टेल्स यू दैट दिस इज द साधना फॉर मोक्षा बट यू डू नॉट डू दैट व्हाई आई वांट दैट देयर फॉर दिस कन्फ्यूजन ऑफ अर्जुन इज वैलिड तदनुरूप प्रश्न एंड इन कीपिंग विद दैट कन्फ्यूजन ही इज आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन इन दि फर्स्ट श्लोक जायसी चेत कर्मणस्ते इत्यादि सो वॉट इज दैट श्लोक श्लोक विल जस्ट लुक एट दि बेसिक मीनिंग ऑफ दि श्लोक अर्जुन उवाच जायसी चेत कर्मणस्ते मता बुद्धिर्जनादन तत्किंग कर्मणि घोरे मां नियोजयसी केशव हे जनादन हे केशव ते मता ते मता इन युअर ओपिनियन ओ जनादन ओ केशव इन युअर ओपिनियन इन युअर कन्सिडरेशन एज इन इन युअर टीचिंग वेल थॉट टीचिंग ते ते मता कर्मण कर्मण बुद्धि जायसी चेत सो कर्मण सकाशा बुद्धि ही जायसी चेत इन इफ इफ इन युअर ओपिनियन कंपेर टू कर्म बुद्धि इज इज सुपीरियर मीनिंग व्हाट कंपेर टू कर्म योग बुद्धि योग और ज्ञान योग इज सुपीरियर देन तत इज देन देन किम माम घोरे कर्मणि नियोजसी इन दैट केस व्हाई डू यू एंगेज मी इन दिस टेरिबल एक्शन ऑफ किलिंग माय गुरुज एंड रिलेटिव्स व्हाई डू यू डू दैट बिकॉज आई एम सेइंग दैट इट इज अ टेरिबल एक्शन इट विल लीड टू पापा एंड फॉरगेट पापा नाउ यू आर सेइंग दैट आई विल गेट मोक्ष इफ आई फॉलो ज्ञान दैट इज सुपीरियर एंड यू टेल मी यू फॉलो द इनफीरियर दिस इज द क्वेश्चन देयरफॉर दैट क्वेश्चन इज आल्सो वैलिड दैट शोस अर्जुन कन्फ्यूजन तदनुरूप प्रश्न जायसी चेत इत्यादि एंड व्हाट इज भगवान आंसर प्रश्नापाकरण वाक्यम प्रश्न से अपकरण वाक्यम अपाकरण वाक्य अपाकरण मीन टेकिंग अवे दैट 
doubt prashna which he has answering that answering that by taking away his doubt that answer vakyam statement cha bhagavata yuktam and that statement of answering that question to take away his doubt is also valid yathokta vibhaga vibhaga vishaye shastre and what is that answer which he is given there are two divisions yathokta vibhaga vishaye shastre in shastra there are two divisions of shastra which is yathokta vibhaga based on the personality of a person how ready based on adhikaritvam there is vibhaga there is the subject matter of the shastra is divided into karma kanda and jnana kanda based on the qualification of a person and these are broadly two ke chittu now he analyzes what other samuchevadi says bodhana who is vrittikara whom bhashyakara has refuted in the beginning and now he uh, looks at their bhashya here in the third chapter what they talk about in the introduction they have said the entire gita is what the entire gita talks about it is a single entity they consider karma kanda and jnana kanda as a single entity of vedas they are both targeted towards moksha and that moksha is samuchaya of karma kanda and jnana kanda and they said the gita is also teaching the same thing which vedas are teaching which is a mixture of karma and jnana so he now he says here though when bhagwan is talking about two divisions they have no other way but to explain their uh, bhashya they have already said that uh, bhagwan is teaching samuchevada now when arjuna is asking this kind of a question and what bhagwan is answering they have they are having a bhashya here that commentary is contradictory to their own introduction bhagwan bhashyakar is showing that their commentary now is contradicting their own uh, earlier commentary therefore the entire shastra is not in their mind when they write bhashya like bhagwan bhashyakar does he shows how they contradict themselves forget contradicting upanishad and uh, uh, gita across chapters but they across chapters and across uh, various granthas they are contradicting their own uh, assessment of the of gita and their own analysis they are contradicting what they have said earlier this is what he is showing and thereby shows how jnana uh, karma samuchaya is is viruddha is improper kechittu however some say what arjunasya prashnartham anyatha kalpayitva having imagined arjuna's question in a different manner why because they have themselves concluded something initially they have concluded they have not based their conclusion on the shastra they have some notion of moksha based on that they have some imagination and to fit that imagination they have they have to fit in the words of the shastra and bhagavan so arjuna's question is also put into that that manner they have to interpret as per their own pre concluded notion so arjunasya prashnartham anyatha kalpayitva tat pratikulam bhagavatah prativachanam varnayanti and uh, they explain this answer of bhagwan also based on that yathacha atmana sambandha granthe gitartho nirupitah tat pratikulam cha iha puna prashna prativachanayoh artham nirupayanti now what is the contradiction see arjun what arjuna is asking what bhagwan is saying that is contradictory yathacha atmana sambandha granthe their own their own sambandha grantha their whatever sambandha grantha has been written by them gitartha nirupita what is the idea in gita shastra that whatever they have explained tat pratikulam cha ih punah prashna prativachanayo artha nirup artham nirupayanti opposed to that they are showing something here artham nirupayanti they are describing some idea here which is what prashna prativachanayoh of the prashna arjuna's prashna and the uttara given by bhagwan prativachana that is tat pratikulam meaning what it is sambandha grantha pratikulam it is opposed to their own sambandha grantha katham how is that tatra sambandha grante tavat first of all in the sambandha grantha what have they said sarvesham ashraminam ज्ञान कर्मण समुच्चय गीताशास्त्रे निरूपिता 
So what they have, they said, Sarvesham Ashraminam, in, for all the ashramis, for whether a, a person belongs to Brahmacharya Ashram, Ashrama or Grahastha Ashrama or Sanyasa Ashrama or Vana Prastha or Sanyasa Ashrama. But broadly two, what is that? Grahastha and Sanyasa Ashrama. Broadly two, two categories, Sanyasa Ashrama or Grahastha and a non-Grahastha. This, this is the broad division. Grahastha has karma, Brahmachari also has karma, but Brahmachari has only basic karma. He does not have the Grahastha karma which is mostly Kamya karma. Because Grahastha has to take care of other ashramas and he has to take care of his own family, that duty is not there to Brahmachari. Brahmachari has only his duty. He has no other duty towards anyone else, whether it's socially or whether within his family also he has no other uh, duty. He doesn't have to take care of them in terms of livelihood, etc. As per the uh, orthodox tradition in the sense that uh, Brahmachari who uh, is studying as a student. Tatra Sammandha Granthe Tavata Sarvesham Ashraminam Jnana Karmano Samuchya Gita Shastra Nirupita Hartha Ityuktam. This is the concluded, this is the well analyzed uh, conclusion by them that Samuchya he is taught in Gita Shastra. Samuchya of what? Jnana and Karma for all the ashramis. Punaha Visheshatam Visheshitam Cha Punaha and what else? Visheshitam Cha Yavad Jiva Shruti Choditani Karmani Parityajya Kevala Deva Jnanat Moksha Prapyate Iti Etat Ekante Neva Pratishiddham Iti and they say definitely what is the uh, what is prohibited Ekantena. It is definitely prohibited that you give up this Parityaja having given up Kevala Deva Jnanat Moksha Prapyate Iti Etat. The idea they say that Moksha is attained is attained through Kevala Jnana, Kevala Deva Jnana, by, by mere knowledge. And mere knowledge means what? Having given up Parichyajya Karmani, Karmani Parichyajya, having given up Karmas. Which are the Karmas? These Karmas have been specifically Visheshitancha Yavad Jiva Shruti Choditani. Yavad Jiva Shruti means Yavad, uh, uh, Yavad Jiva Agnihotram Juhoti. This is a Shruti statement. Juhoti is, uh, in Puro Vimamsa, wherever there is a Latlakara, it is treated as a Lot or a Vidhi Ling. It is a Vidhi. Yavad Jiva Shruti Choditani means Yavad Jivam Agni Hotram Juhyat is the meaning of Juhoti. One should do Agni Hotra as long as one is alive. So where is the question of giving up the Karma? This is their thinking. So Punaha Visheshitancha Yavad Jiva Shruti Choditani Karmani Parityajya having given up Karmas which are prescribed by Shruti, Agniyotra, Ityadi, Kevala Deva Jnana, only through Jnana, there will be Moksha which is attained, Moksha will be attained, Iti Eta, this idea is Ekantene Eva Pratishiddham Iti. They have clearly said, it is prohibited, should not be done. And Gita Shastra is following Upanishad, so every Shastra is saying the same thing that uh, you cannot give up Karma, this is what they have said in the introduction. Iha tu, however, here what they are doing, ashrama vikalpam darshayata yavad jiva shruti choditanam eva karmanam parityaga ukta. Here, however, they have said that these shruti based karmas which are there, they can be given up by a sannyasi. So they say that ashrama vikalpam darshayata. By showing the division in ashram now, earlier they said for all ashramis, this is the idea. Now they say that uh, you can divide it as grahastha and non grahastha and a non grahastha can give up the uh, shruti based karma, he can give up and karmanam parityagha ukta. Tat katham idrusham viruddham artham arjunaya bruyad bhagavan. So how can Arjuna be taught these kind of things by Bhagavan? How can Bhagavan teach these opposing ideas that in this ashrama you are a grahastha, therefore you should not give karma, you should not give up karma, but that's why karmani eva adhikaraste, because you are a grahastha. He is saying that let me become a sannyasi. No, no, you are a grahastha, you have adhikara only in karma because you cannot give up karma. Adhikara in karma means yeah, he is 
from their perspective Arjuna can follow Jnana Karma Samuchaya. Bhagavan is not teaching that though. Bhagavan is saying that you, you Karmani Eva, by Eva Kara he said Karmani Eva Adhikaraste. But they are saying what? Uh, Arjuna is a Grahastha and for Grahasthas, Yava Jiva Shruti Choditanam Eva Karmanam Parityaga Ukta Ashrama Vikalpam Darshayata by Bhagavan who is showing Ashrama Vikalpa. That for sannyasi it is okay to give up karma, but you should not give up karma. This is the idea they are bringing out here. Tatkatam idrisham viruddham artham arjunaya bruvat, bruyat bhagavan, shrotava katam viruddham artham avadharayet. Now who is studying this, uh, whether through uh, these commentators who have gone by, or later commentators who have picked up those ideas and continued, how can they understand this contradiction? If really there is a contradiction, if really Bhagavan said that, uh, that entire idea in the Gita is what? Jnana Karma Samuchya. Now for Arjuna he is saying that there is a division and as per that division you follow Karma Yoga because you should not give up this uh, Yavat, uh, uh, Yavat Jiva Shruti. You cannot give up this Shruti based prescription. Therefore you should continue your Kshatriya Dharma and thereby this contradiction is, how is it that Bhagavan has taught this contradictory idea here and how can any listener understand? This is the uh, question that Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, that this is the contradiction. Further he says, Tatra Etat Syat. What is that? Tatra Etat Syat is uh, the response of, of the Puro Pakshi. Puro Pakshi is saying, Tatra Etat Syat, what? I will tell you how there is aviruddha. He says, Grahasthana meva shrauta karma parityagena kevala deva jnana moksha pratishidhyate natu ashramantarana iti. He says that, Puropakshi is explaining, see, for grahastha, for grahasthas, for who are grahasthas like Arjuna, shrauta karma parityagena kevala deva jnana moksha pratishidhyate. It is, it is prohibited for a grahastha to give up karma uh, and follow jnana. It is prohibited. Natu ashramantaranamiti. And for sannyasis, it is not a problem. They can give up karma. What is the problem there? This is, why do you say that it is viruddha? This is their question. It is not viruddha. But Bhagavan Bhashyakara is showing that initially you have said that for all ashramis, either you have to say that in the introduction you are wrong or you have to say now you are wrong. If you say now you are right, let's say now you are right. That's and we agree that okay, grahastha should not give up karma. But we don't agree to the samuchya vada there. We say that sannyasi can give up, sannyasi has to give up. That's why he is a sannyasi. Nyasa is giving up, parityaga. So let's say we accept this part. Then your introduction has to be wrong. Introduction cannot be right. There you have said that for all ashramis, what has been taught? Jnana karma samuchya. Now Bhagavan says, uh, Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, let's say you are saying that for grahasthas alone, what has been prescribed now? Shrauta karma parityaga. This we do not agree. Hypothetically, let's say karma parityaga is not acceptable for a grahastha. But you are saying shrauta karma parityaga. That is where we are objecting. Etadapi puruvattara viruddha meva. Now he says that Purvottara Viruddha, you have said something else in the introduction. Now you are saying something else. There is no consistency. How so Katham Sarvashraminam Jnana Karmanoho Samuchaya Gita Shastra Nishchita Hartha Iti Pratijnaya Having made a proposition that this is your analysis that Gita Shastra is talking about Samuchaya for everyone. Iha Katham Tad Viruddham Kevala Deva Jnanat Moksham Bruyat Ashramantaranam. How is it that? You have made divisions in ashrama now and showing that uh, for ashrama, based on the ashrama, shrauta karma can be given up. Atha, atha matam shrauta karma pekshaya etad vachanam kevala deva jnana shruti karma rahitad grahasthana moksha pratishidyate iti tatra grahasthanam vidyamanam api smartam karma vidyamana vat upekshya. Jnana Deva Kevala Now, what he is saying is that Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, now, you, what you are saying here, 
what Puro Pakshi is saying that Shrauta Karma Apeksha Etad Vachanam. What we are saying is that considering the Shrauta Karma because Shruti has said it you cannot give up, this, this cannot be given up. It cannot be given up, the Shruti Karma based Karma cannot be given up by a Grahastha. And thereby Kevala Deva Jnana Shrauta Karma Rahita means Kevala Deva Jnana means through that Jnana which is bereft of Shrauta Karma means without Samuchaya, Grahastana Moksha Pratishidhyati. For Grahastha it is prohibited, iti. Tatra Grahasthanam Vidyamanam Apismartam Karma Avidyamanavat Upeksha Jnana Deva Kevalat Ityuchyate iti. For Grahasthas the Smartha Karma is also there. You are saying Shrauta Karma Rahita, but Smartha Karma is treated, how is it treated? Smartam Karma Avidyamanavat Vidyamanam Api, although that Smartha Karma has to be followed. Smriti based karma has also be to be followed, not only Shruti based karma. That is being treated as if it is not there. Smriti based karma you are not talking about. So, avidyamanavat upeksha. Having treated it as if smartha karma is not there, why do you talk about when you say kevala devajna shrauta karma rahitat? Why do you say only shrauta karma? That means smartha karma also has to be done by a grastha. Shrauta karma cannot be given up, smartha cannot be given up anyway. Now they are saying that smartha karma should not be given by a sannyasi also, should not be given up. So shruti based karma can be given up by a sannyasi, but smruti based karma cannot be given up. So iti ucchate iti etarapi viruddham. So that is the idea here. If you make such kind of statement, shrauta karma should not be given up by uh, agrahastha, but others can give up, means sannyasi can give up, means what? Sanyasi should not give up smartha karma and uh, grahastha can or cannot give, uh, give up this smartha karma is not mentioned. But since it has been treated that way, we will take both pakshas. What did you really mean? Can smartha be given up? No, it cannot be given up. So you are saying that uh, grahastha cannot give up shruti and smriti based karma. He should not give up. Whereas sannyasi can give up shruti based karma, but smriti based karma he has to follow. So etarapi viruddham, this is the contradiction. Katam, how is that contradictory now? He says, grahastha se eva smartha karmana samuchita jnanat moksha pati shidyate. So for grahastha, what is prohibited now? Shruti should not be given up. Shruti based karma should not be given up means what? Smartha karma can be follow, can be given up. So, Grahastha se eva smartha karmana samuchita jnanat moksha pratishidyate. So moksha is prohibited for a grahastha. How is it denied for a grahastha? Through smruti based karma. Smruti based karma, shruti can be given, shruti based karma can be given up by sannyasi means smruti based karma cannot be given up by sannyasi. So sannyasi will get moksha through what? As per the puro pakshi, sannyasi will get moksha through smruti based karma and Jnana. Shruti based karma he has to give up because sannyasa is prescribed means what? Shruti based karma, he has Shruti prescribed sannyasa, so he can give up Shruti based karma. But Shruti based karma he cannot give up, therefore samuchya is there even for a sannyasi. Sannyasi samuchya is what? So they are saying that samuchya vada which we have given in, given as the tatparya of Gita, which is the tatparya of all Vedas in the introduction is what? Samuchya, karma and jnana samuchya. What kind of karma and what kind of, uh, uh, what kind of karma we have not described there. So let me describe this now. So Puro Pakshi is taking a stance that introduction and this third chapter commentary given by us is not contradictory. We are saying that Shruti based karma, Smriti based karma and jnana for a grahastha, that is the samuchya and for a sannyasi, Smriti based karma and Jnana is the samuchya. Samuchya is there for both. This is their idea. So, that, but Bhagavan Bhashyakara is saying, what is the viruddha here? Etarapi viruddham. Grahastha se eva smartha karmana samuchita jnana moksha pratishidyate. But what you are saying, what does that amount to? It amounts to that grahastha has a different way to moksha and sannyasi has a different way, way to moksha. Sannyasi samuchya is through smartha karma, he does combination of jnana, thereby he gets moksha, but that kind of path to moksha is prohibited for a grahastha. So look at the virodha. 
ग्रस्थ सेव only for a ग्रस्थ स्मार्थ कर्मणा समुचिता ज्ञानात मोक्ष प्रतिशिद्यते मोक्ष is prohibited for ग्रस्थ only for only for a ग्रस्थ this समुच्चया only with स्मार्थ कर्मा and jnana, that kind of samucha, moksha through that kind of karma is not possible for a grahastha. Natu ashramantaranam iti katham viveki vi shakyam avadharetum. How will any discriminative person, anyone who has buddhi, how will he understand this uh, different path? As samucha is there, but one kind of samucha which leads to moksha for a sannyasi, that is only for a sannyasi, but not for a grahastha. Grahastha, if he does that, he will not get moksha. This is the virodha. You can't have such ideas that this kind of karma and uh, only this kind of karma will give moksha uh, with this jnana and not another kind of karma. And sannyasi can give up that. These kind of ideas are not right. They cannot be seen as non-contradictory. Avadhare itu katham viveki vi shakyam. How is it possible to uh, understand how is it possible to be understood by a Viveki? Viveki will have these questions. You cannot have such discriminative ideas. Kincha, moreover, further, further more. Yadi moksha sadhana tvena smartani karmani urdhvareta saam samuchchi yante tata grastasya api ishyatam smartai reva samuchche na shrautai hi. And what is, what is being said? Viveki will ask you a question. If moksha sadhana is for smartha karma, for a jnana uh, with, along with smartha karma for a urdhvaretas. Urdhvaretas is who? Uh, urdhvareta is a, retas is a bhauri. Uh, so urdham retam, uh, reta, reta would be, I think, uh, I, I, I don't know the linga, let me just check up. Since I brought it up, I have to... Uh, Retas would be neuter, I think. I think Sakaranta neuter maybe. So uh, let's say neuter. So anyway, I'll not give the Vigravakya to, to avoid the mistake. So for those whom the reta, retas has has gone up, generally the uh, uh, all the uh, indriyas are turned outwards, and the uh, the reason that a person wants to continue into Grahastha Ashrama is for progeny. For progeny and one wants to live through them. So the seed is, is to be sent out and then there is multiplication. One wants to multiply. One wants to live on through the, his children. Thereby Grahastha Ashrama. But who is the Sanyasi? Sanyasi is who has withdrawn the seed and it is converted to Ojas. So, therefore, Urdhva Retas, the Reta is withdrawn and it, it is sent upward. So, there is a lot of Kundalini and uh, talk on that. So, Urdhva Retas is basically Sanyasi, that is the idea here. Yadi Moksha Sadhanetuna Smartani Karmani Urdhva Retasam Samuchi Ante, if there is Samuchya which is there for a Sanyasi with Smartha Karma, Jnana and Smartha Karma, as a Moksha Sadhana, Tata Grastha Sepi Shatam, let it be for a Grastha also. Why should Grastha do Shrauta Karma? Smartai reva samuchya na shrautai Let it be that way. This is the Viveki's question. Atha shrautai hi smartai cha grahastha se eva samuchya mokshaya urdhva reta samtu smartha karma matra samuchita jnanat moksha iti. Now your conclusion is what for a purva pakshi Bhagavan Bhashyatara is saying that your conclusion is that grahastha has to do shrauta and smartha karma along with jnana whereas sanyasi has to do only smartha karma with jnana. That kind of samuchya. That will lead to moksha. Therefore, paths are different for both. Tatra evam sati, ghastasya ayasa bahulyat, shrautam smartan cha bahudukha rupam karma shirasi aropitam syat. What will happen? Shruti, which is like what? Shatahite shini. Shruti is like uh, hundreds and thousands of mothers, she is even, has more love for others than even hundreds and thousands of mothers. That kind of love she has towards everyone, that kind of Vedamata, 
Now, what is she doing? She is separating out a grahastha and saying moksha, which is shown by Shruti, for grahastha is more painful. This is what will happen. Satrayam sati grahastha se ayasa bahulyat. Any karma needs efforts. If Shruti is saying that Shrauta karma cannot be given up by a grahastha, then in addition to smarta karma and jnana, he has samuchya to do with Shruti karma also, therefore there is a bahulya of ayasa. Ayasa se bahulya, since there is a lot of stuff to be done by a grahastha. Shrautam smartam cha bahu dukkha rupam, bahu dukkha rupam, it is, makes lot of effort to do shrauta smartha karma. Along with jnana, karma shirasi aropitam sya. So much of burden is thrown on this, this fellow's head just because he has become a grahastha. Actually, in, in, uh, grahastha is the ashrama which should take care of all the other three ashramas. A brahmachari is taken care of by the grahastha. The sannyasi is taken of care of, should be taken care of by the grahastha. Then vanaprasthi is also taken care of by the grahastha. So grahastha is what, actually if you look at it, brahmacharya has char dhatu. Vanaprastha has the stha dhatu with prapurvaka. So prasthana, he is, he is leaving. So he also has movement. Char dhatu says movement. Brahmachari char dhatu says movement. Vanaprastha, the uh, prastha, says movement, prasthana. Then sannyasa, nyasa, giving up and withdrawing and going away. So that is also prasthana. So all three are moving. Who is the most stable in all the four ashramas? Grahastha, because graha tishtati iti grahastha. He is staying in the graha. He is the only one who is stable and others are moving around. All the moving can be moving around only when somebody is stable. This grahastha is stable and he has to support all other ashramas. Now he has to do Shrauta Karma also. So Shruti is overburdening him. This is what will happen. Atha grahastha seva ayasa bahulya karanat moksha sya. Now the Puro Pakshi has got a point. He says exactly what I was saying. Therefore moksha is possible only for a grahastha. So he is saying now he jumps on that point and he says therefore nobody else will get moksha. Actually since karma samuchaya. Samuchya, Jnana Karma Samuchya is the main uh, path which is the only path by which one will get moksha. Therefore, Ayasa Bahulya that you are saying that Grahastha will have, therefore only Grahastha will get moksha. This is his argument now. Atha Grahastha Seva Ayasa Bahulya Karanat Moksha Syat. Moksha Katsya Syat, Grahastha Seva Syat. Natu Anya uh, Ashrama Antarana. Others will not get moksha. This is now what uh, the Puro Pakshi is saying, Na Ashrama Antaranam Shrauta Nitya Karma Rahita Tvatiti. Now he is saying that the reason actually the other Ashrama people will not get Moksha is because Shrauta Nitya Karma Rahita. Their Jnana is with what? Smarta Karma. It is bereft of Shrauta Karma which is Nitya Karma. And giving up the Shrauta Nitya Karma will not give you Moksha at all. So, very ridiculous, you know, he, a person who has taken sannyasa is taken sannyasa for moksha and now he is saying that since you have given up your karma, you will not get moksha. See, this is what happens if you build up some ideas on your own, you have, even in Anvaya, I keep on saying, when we make mistakes in Anvaya, the reason we make mistakes in Anvaya and uh, even cases is because we have pre-concluded ideas of what a particular word means and what the sentence should mean. It is biased with some thinking, whether it is some thinking due to some teaching or whether it is thinking due to uh, our own language biases as to some word means something in our own language and we see that word in Sanskrit. But the errors are due to our thinking that what this word should mean and what this sentence should mean. Similarly, what Veda should mean, how moksha should be possible if there are pre-concluded notions the way others do it. It is not based on Shruti at all. It cannot be called as Vedanta in fact. Because Vedanta is what Vedanam Antaha Nishchaya. There is an ascertained conclusion, not ascertainment through uh, Swabuddhi Kalpita, not Swakapola Kalpita, not our own ideas. Whatever idea is presented by Shruti, which is not in contradiction to other Shrutis, that is the conclusion of the Shruti. Tatpare Nishchaya should be there. Now, 
if we pre-conclude, then we have to fit the pieces. Then they, there are people who add words to the Shruti and uh, give some uh, something not supported by Vyakrana also or bring some other uh, rule even if direct meaning is possible, some other meaning is uh, dragged in and made to fit in into the Shruti to interpret as per their own already concluded ideas. This is what is happening and thereby the stance keep on, uh, the, the stances keep on changing and they keep on bringing up, maybe this is possible, maybe that is possible. So all these maybes are not where the nischaya is. They have said nishchita martham. First they have said that samuchaya is for all ashramas. Now they are saying that samuchaya is, uh, is not there for all ashramas. One can be given up. Then they are saying that this is also talking about samuchaya, but uh, this is smarta karma samuchaya. Other is smarta shrauta karma samuchaya for agrahastha. Then they are saying that uh, ayasa bhaulya if you show, then ayasa bhaulya due to that only they will get moksha. Grahasthas will get moksha. Na ashramantaranam shrauta nitya karma raitatva. So you have to change your stance every time because you have to support the castle you have built in the air. Tadapiyasa, Bhashyakara says, Tadapiyasa, that is also wrong. Why? Sarvopanishad su, Itihasa Purana Yoga Shastra Shucha, not only in all Upanishad, but even in Itihasa Purana and Yoga Shastra, Jnanangatvena Mumukshoho Sarvakarma Sanyasa Vidhanath. The Shruti in Upanishad, in Itihasa as we have seen, there are so many people who have gone, gone by who have taken Sanyasa for Moksha, Upanishad is prescribing uh, sannyasa as moksha sadhana. Purana is talking about that. Yoga Shastra is talking about that. And you are saying that they will not get moksha. How ridiculous. Jnanangatvena mumukshoho sarva karma sannyasa vidhana. Sarva karma sannyasa is prescribed by the same Shruti. And you are saying they will not get moksha. Means Shruti is doing this service. Instead of showing you the path, she is showing you a path which will not lead to moksha. How ridiculous it is. Ashrama vikalpa samuchya vidhana achya shruti smrityo. And he says that shruti smruti, all the shruti and smruti vakyas are this ashrama vikalpa samuchya vidhana achya. Based on particular ashrama, some shruti and smruti samuchya has been mentioned. Not jnana samuchya, shruti smruti samuchya, some part of shrauta karma, some part of smruti. Smriti based karma, smarta karma has been prescribed for a brahmachari. For another, grahastha, something else is prescribed. Something is prescribed for a, uh, some other combination of shrauta and smarta karma for a, uh, for a vana prasti and for a sannyasi, some other samuchya. Of what not of uh, jnana and karma, of smarta and shruti karma may be prescribed. Actually, for sannyasi, there is, there is no karma prescribed. Some omkara may be prescribed or something else may be prescribed, uh, not as a duty to be done, but for nishtha something may be prescribed. That is something to be done, it's okay, you meditate. It is a meditation is a karma, let's say. If that is prescribed, so that it is not for moksha, it is for nishtha in moksha. Now, he misunderstands this word also, because he is looking for an opportunity to uh, establish samuchaya. That's all his commitment is. He, actually, if you look at it, the way the uh, debate is progressing, he is not at all interested in uh, what is the Nishchita Artha. This is Vitanda Vada. You already uh, may not be Vitanda Vada, but this is not uh, the search for truth. It is establishing what has already been established by them and based on that reinterpreting everything that anyone is saying, whether it is Shruti, Smriti or whether it is, a, uh, whether it is an Advaiti. So Advaiti is saying that Shruti Smruti Samuchaya is there for various Ashrama Vikalpa. And those uh, Samuchaya Vidhana is there, we agree. Karma Vidhana is there. Samuchaya of Shruti Karma and Smarta Karma is there is a Samuchaya based on a Ashrama, not Jnana Samuchaya. Now he says Siddha Stari, then it is Siddha. What you are saying is there is Samuchaya, right? He just catches this word Samuchaya and says that you are agreeing to uh, Samuchaya, so we Say it is established. Siddha Sari Sarva Ashrama Inam Jnana Karma Noho Samuchaya. Then he says for all ashramas, you are saying ashramikalpa, various ashramas, all ashramas have some kind of samuchaya vidhi. Of Shruti Smriti we are saying, he is saying that no, there is samuchaya, you have said that there is samuchaya for everyone. 
therefore sarvashraminam jnana karma noho samuchya iti siddham. He says siddha atari. It is established. Bhashikara says, no, no, don't jump. Na mumukshu ho sarva karma sanyasa vidhanat. We are not saying jnana karma samuchya at all. We are saying shruti karma, shrauta karma and smartha karma vidhana samuchya. So, we are saying why is there is no samuchya, mumukshu ho sarva karma sanyasa vidhana. Since sanyasa has been prescribed for a mumukshu, meaning giving up karma. How can there be samuchya when one has given up karma? There is no karma samuchya possible with jnana. And he says that there is Upanishad which says, Putre shanayaha vitte shanayascha loke shanayascha vithayatha bhikshacharyam charanti. So, Brahad Upanishad said, Brahad Arneka says, Putre shana. Putre shana is what? Desire for children, progeny. Vitte shana. Vitte shana is desire for wealth. And loke shana, desire for various experiences, various lokas, various worlds. Vithaya, having given all of these up, all these three eshanas, eshanatrayam, vyuthaya, atha bhikshacharyam charanti. Charanti here is what? One should, this is like latlakara, he is like uh, lot or vizhiling. Bhikshacharyam charanti means one should go around for arms. One should subside, uh, one should uh, uh, continue to survive only on arms, on bhiksha. Tasmad Nyasam, Nyasam is Sanyasam, Tasmat Sanyasam, Tasmat Nyasam Esham, Tapasam Atiriktam Ahuhu. Another uh, Shruti Vakya says what? Esham Tapasam Atiriktam. A apart from all this, uh, what is that? Nyasa, Nyasa, Sanyasa is prescribed. Nyasa Eva Atyarechayet. So, Nyasa, Sanyasa Eva Atyarechayat. Another Shruti says that, so there is Mumukshu Sarva Karma Sanyasa Vidhanath. He is showing so many Vidhis are there. Na Karmana Na Prajaya Dhani Na Tyage Na Ika Amrutattva Manashuhu. And another Upanishad Vakya says what? Not through Karma, not through Praja, not through Dhana. How is Amrutattva possible? How is immortality possible? Moksha. Tyage Na Ika. Only through Tyaga, only through Sanyasa, Nyasa. Moksha is possible. Brahmya Charya Deva Prabhrajet. And this is Tyage Neke means what? Tyaga, Sanyasa itself will not give Moksha. But Sanyasa is a means to Moksha as a means to Jnana Sadhana. It is a Jnana, Jnana Angatvena. He has said this as what? Here Jnana Angatvena. Sanyasa is a Jnana Anga. It is Jnana Anga. Therefore, Tyage Neke means Tyage Na Eke Jnana Angatvena Amrutattva Manashuhu as an Anga to Jnana. That is Amrutattvam, part to Amrutattvam, Brahmacharya Deva Prabhurajet and immediately after Brahmacharya one should can give up. I will just finish these two, three lines. Brahmacharya Deva Prabhurajet, Ityadhyaha Shrutaya, there are so many such Shrutis. And then Mahabharata also says, Tyaja Dharma Madharmancha, Uve Satyan Rute Tyaja, Uve Satyan Rute Tyaktva, Yenat Tyaja Si Tat Tyaja. So Tyaja Dharma Madharmancha, finally one should give up Punya and Papa both, not not hold on to punya. One should do punya karma, give up papa first. Then, when the punya is sufficient enough for chitta shuddhi, one should even give up that. When, when jnana has occurred, when jnana has occurred, that time one should not even do punya karma. Tyaja dharma madhara mancha, ube satya anruta tyaja, and give up all the satya and anruta. Give up commitment to any of the sadhanas which you think are leading to your subsistence. Teja, give all those up. Ube satyan rute tyaktva, yena tyajasi tat teja. And through that tool which you have given up, everything is due to this individuality. I will not go into these details. There are many interpretations of this. Very uh, deep interpretations are also there. But ube satyan rute tyaktva, having given up commitment to both satyan and rute, Worldly and Vedic activities also, whatever you are doing, you should give those up. Having given up Punya and Papa, Yena Tejasi, Yena Ahankarana you can take. Ahankarana Tejasi, Tat Teja. That Ahankara also you give up, that individuality of I am this Grasta, that also you have to give up, means you have to become a Sanyasi. Samsaram 
एव निस्सारम दृष्टवा सारदी दृक्षया प्रवरजन त्यक्रतो द्वाहा परम वैराग्य माश्रिता हा इति ब्रह्मपति ही एंड ब्रह्मपति है सेड व्हाट संसार में एवं निस्सारम दृष्टवा हैविंग सीन दिस एंटायर संसार एस विदाउट एनी बेसिस इन सेंस विदाउट एनी सारा देर इस नो एसेंस इन संसारा एसेंस इज एक्चुअली द बेसिस इज ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मात्मा द अदर देन दैट द संसारा इटसेल्फ हैज नो बेसिस व्हाई बिकॉज़ इट इज नाम और उपात्मका देर इज नथिंग इन संसारा व्हिच इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम रियली एक्जिस्टेंट एंड डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आत्मा इट इज नाम और रूप मिथ्यात्मा मे सो इट इज मिथ्यात्मकम संसारम दैट संसारम इज निस्सारम therefore having seen this as mithyatva nischaya having the had mithyatva nischaya about samsara sara didrikshaya wanting to see what is the sara then where is their sara where is the essence pravrajanti people take to sanyasa akruto dvahaha so not wanting to do anything anything else just wanting this sara which is atma param vairagya maashrita de take support of the vairagya that they have developed through punya karma they give up finally they give up everything take sanyasa karmana badhyate jantur vidyaya cha vimuchyate tasmat karma na kurvanti yatayah paradarshinah another uh, mahabharata statement is what karmana badhyate jantu jantu all creatures are creatures human beings here are bound by karma due to karma if you keep on doing karma with kartrutva bhava there is going to be binding navi navi muchyate so vidyaya chi muchyate how is the freedom then through vidya only through jnana jnane neva moksha tasmat karma na kurvanti since karma is binding finally they have to give up karma also when their chitta shuddhi for jnana you have to take sanyasa or after jnana one has to take sanyasa yatayah paradarshina yati yati jat sanyasis paradarshina those who vidvat sanyasi ar paradarshina who see beyond this karma as jnana and they have atma darshana iti shuka anushasanam so shuka has taught this way yaha api cha sarva karmani manasa sanyasya ityadi and then he says not only everywhere else even in this context of gita sarva karmani manasa sanyasya having given up all karma manasa with the mind along with the mind along with the mental activities so manasa along with the mental activities also one has to give up so we'll see this when we see this uh, uh, in fifth chapter we see this we'll see this manasa and the objection to that of uh, puro pakshi we'll see that there but yaha picha sarva karmani manasa sanyas having given up along with this the the mental activities this is how i'll, I'll keep it this way Uh, right now ityadi this is seen here also in gita shastra therefore your interpretation that sanyasi will not get moksha only grahastha will get moksha and samuchchaya is there for both for moksha all this interpretation is all uh, has absolutely no basis it is illogical and it is against uh, shruti also it is against all the itihasa purana and yoga shastra also so this is where Uh, we will stop and we will continue in the next part we will see the rest of the uh, introduction to the third chapter based on which we will see what is the uh, context in which this third chapter has come about and why arjuna is asking this question and what is bhagwan saying om tat sat om shanti 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 any questions इस कुड यू टेल मी अ बिट अबाउट द पूर्व पक्षी बोला है हां मी नॉट मच इज नोन ही इज और हु इज कॉल्ड एज वृत्तिकारा एंड वृत्तिकारा इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी सेम एज बोधा है ना हु इज अ वेदांतिन एट लीस्ट कंसीडर्ड एज अ वेदांतिन एंड हु इज अ समुच्चयवादी who says that gnan and karma ke leads to moksha and uh, their view is similar to vishishta advaita of today because ramanujacharya follows follows that there may be little bheda but then it is uh, uh, vishishta advaita is reinvented bodhayana 
with a little uh, difference. I do not know what are the differences, but as far as I know, uh, it is Jnana Karma Samuchaya and then in the Moksha also they have, uh, uh, they say that uh, uh, they don't agree with the merger of Jiva into Brahma. And uh, uh, complete merger is not ac accepted and then uh, even if there is a merger, they say that the individuality is retained. There is no ego per se. But then uh, that's with Sattvika Bhava, the Jiva remains as a Jiva separate from uh, Brahma. This is the idea that they entertain. So he is not a Mimamsaka, no? Because Mimamsaka no, also has a Jnana. No, follows the Mimamsaka. Uh, all mm -hmm. these are Mimamsakas because Vedanta is Uttar Mimamsa. So Mimamsaka, but not Pura Mimamsaka. But they follow Mimamsa. Because Mimamsa Shastra also says that there is uh, uh, interpretation of Karma Kanda is as per Mimamsa. But then. Uh, uh, they remain Mimamsa, Mimamsa cause a little even in the end mm. because Jiva remains as a Jiva so that way they are Mimamsa cause Jiva remaining mm. as Jiva uh, with even a little Jiva Tum is uh, for us it is uh, not Dvaita I mean sorry not Advaita mm. so Vedantins but not uh, not Advaitins really mm. And wherever the karma uh, samuchaya comes in, there, there there is an issue. Whenever there is a karma jnana samuchaya, it cannot lead to advaita at all. So not not a lot is known. Uh, in fact, there is a debate as to who this vrittikara is that uh, Bhashyakara talks about. But uh, most agree that it is Bodhayana. Hmm. And uh, both and also there were multiple, so uh, there is no agreement really as to who. Uh, but I am telling you the what is the where there is a consensus. Most of the consensus, most think that it is the same Rutikara who is reputed here, who is Bodhayana, and uh, hmm. who is the same Bodhayana that Ramanujacharya uh, follows and re-establishes uh, Vishishta Advaita. Hmm. Therefore, uh, when uh, uh, even in Advaitins, there are people who say that uh, the others which uh, Madhvacharya and uh, Rama, Ramanujacharya brought up something which uh, which is new and uh, even Bhashyakara has not uh, refuted those. But it is not true because Bhashyakara has refuted everything. These people have reinvented, they have brought in uh, the same Paksha which was refuted, they have brought in, which was already refuted. So there is no fresh uh, refutation needed really. We, because we can find that in the Bhashya itself. But it is done by Vyakhyanas, they have refuted the others as well, uh, extending on what Bhashyakara said. Because they, uh, they word it differently and uh, think that it is a different uh, Aropa on Advaita. It is not different Aropa on Advaita, it has already been dealt by Bhagavan Bhashyakara in lit little words, but then if people won't elaborate, that has been done by Vyakhyanakaras. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No, no, sir. No.